Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up and use model views within AutoCAD, similar to how you can set up and customize your viewports and layout views. Uh, you can do that in model space as well, even though we don't talk about it as much. This is especially useful for larger project areas where you'd like to get a view of two different areas at the same time on your screen, or 3D modeling where you perhaps need to see different angles and views of an object at the same time. Let's jump right into the today's video. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. As always, we're going to try and keep this quick and to the point. So to get started, you're going to want to go to the view tab within your drawing in model space and the pull down here is called model viewports and in particular the viewport configuration and this is similar to what you would be doing on the layout tab but if you're in model space this is going to control the views within your model hitting the drop down here is going to show you the different options you've got uh, you can go either a single viewport as we've shown right here two vertical horizontal three in different configurations including three vertical as well as four equal and then this one down here uh, four with three to the right or to the left chances are you're not going to need that many views but depending on what you're working on you may clicking on one is going to change your layout to that view and then clicking within one or the other is going to activate it once activated and highlighted like this you can now move that view around and zoom in or out so in our case maybe we'd like to keep one view Let's set up, say, a three to the right. Perhaps we want to keep one view as our main overall view, showing the entire floor plan. This one over here can be our working view, and this one over here maybe shows a particular area in interest to us. Now, any changes we make are going to be affected and move in all of them, but this is going to allow you to see what's going on as you're doing it throughout the drawing. So if you're making, say, micro changes in a zoomed in area of your project and you'd like to see how that's affecting things on the macro scale, this would be a great way to set up your viewports. It's going to save you time of having to zoom in and out, check something over here, check something over here. Or if you're like trying to work on multiple areas at the same time, simply clicking between the three is going to make things a lot quicker than zooming in and out, especially for large sites or large areas. Say in a civil project, you could have one view on a specific lot, a second view on the entire project. So you can still move between the two uh, or in civil design, maybe you have an alignment and a profile that you are modifying on at the same time in conjunction with each other this is going to allow you to do that and still see what's going on without having to move and pan around your drawing a lot again as i mentioned this is super useful when it comes to 3d objects so i've dropped over to a different drawing here and you can see this top down uh, rectangle or box but when we change our viewport uh, configuration here say to three you can see on the left here when we use our view cube here to change the view to an ISO that we have an object that's actually in 3D. This was not easy to tell from above but having it in a view like this allows us to modify things in different directions and see how that's going to affect our object. So if we put this one here to the side or front view, moving an object like this is going to give us the ability to move in all of the directions as well as move things between them. So you can click over to the 3D to move things in any direction here, or you can go in the front view, say, and stretch this out, or from the top view, readjust our box and make it square again. So as you can see, model views can be a huge time saver. There's a little bit more to them uh, than the similar version in viewport or layout space, but they work very similarly. You're going to want to be again in the view tab here. You can use your view configuration here, or if you have it turned on, the little drop downs here 
with the uh, different views as well as the plus sign is going to give you the options as well. To go back to the initial or original view, simply hit that drop down and choose single. That's going to give you a one continuous model view. And then again, you can use your view cube or you can use orbit command to rotate around your object to get back to where you were. That's all for today's quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. If you have any requests, leave those in the comments. And if you'd like to learn more and dive deep into AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals, as well as a ton of productivity tips, I have a course available now. I'll put that link up above and down below. They are discounted right now for summer, uh, as well as for subscribers using those links. Thanks again for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.